Hello and welcome to Easy Dev Toots. In this video, we'll be learning how to build a startup website using the startup framework from Design Moto. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what it is, it's a uh, new framework used for building websites really quickly, and it's a little bit different than your typical uh, front end framework. It's not going to include a bunch of you know form elements and buttons and switches and whatnot. Um, it's actually a set of um, what they call blocks and each block has uh, content structured in it and it's designed in a way to be uh, sort of mixed and matched uh, in order to create really nice looking websites. So what we're going to be doing in this video is uh, we're going to download this demo version and we're going to learn how to build a website. So let's get started. Right now I'm at the designmoto.com forward slash startup site or page and I've scrolled down to the bottom a little bit and I'm going to click on the link uh, view demo on github and from this page if you'd like you can sort of read a little bit about uh, the demo if you scroll down to the bottom a little bit we're going to click on the link that says fork we're going to just open up a new tab and go over to github you're going to want to click on the download zip button I've already got mine cloned so I'm not going to go through that uh, but once you get that done and it's finished downloading um, go ahead and extract it somewhere on your computer that uh, you can access in the uh, browser. Uh, I have mine at the root of my sites folder and I'm going to be using map um, for local server. Uh, what I did was I extracted the demo framework and alongside of it I created another directory just called startup for the tutorial and within that startup folder I have one file called index.html and I'll show you in the browser excuse me in the editor as you can see here I have the uh, document set up with the doc type you'll need that um, and you'll also need to have the opening and closing uh, HTML head and body tags uh, standard HTML uh, document setup now as I said before um, make sure that you extract that folder where you can reach it in your browser and I have mine here uh, again at uh, the root of my site and uh, what we're going to do first is click on the developer and then inside that we're going to click on manual and then finally read and basically what this is is a guide and the guide pretty much shows you the options you have sort of the the components or the blocks for building your site uh, the demo has uh, a few of the options all of them from the uh, the premium version uh, the premium version has about I think 25 different blocks and uh, tons of examples let's go ahead and get started um, first thing we're gonna do is click on the how to install link at the top and you can see the first step here says that we need to start up our uh, document um, again I've already shown you that before but it's just a standard HTML document and then uh, what we'll need to do is include all of the CSS and JavaScript we're going to copy everything from the last link tag for the style sheet uh, to the top and then we're going to paste it over in our file that we have set up it's going to format that a little better and I'm also going to get the JavaScript and of course we'll want to put this just before the closing of the body tag And then um, we'll go ahead and copy all the style sheet uh, references here in this section as well. But um, we're not going to use them just yet. We'll comment them out and then uh, we'll get back to using it. Just going to quickly comment out each one of these. There we go. And then um, finally, we get to choose which block uh, we want to build our website with. 